once you get to where you're trying to get to, you abandon the ladder. You don't need it anymore. Like, you got to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. And so I think egoism and post-structuralism, post-modernism are ways to try and actually acknowledge what seems to be the actual case, the actual reality of human existence, which is that we need story and we need meaning and we need narrative. You cannot exist without these. Like, the symbolic realm of human reality is a fundamental part of being a human being. And human beings who are denied access to symbolism, like children who are kept in closets, or feral children, or they're not really human beings. Not in like the sense that we can meaningfully interact with them because to be a human being requires a full immersion and fluency in large sets of symbols and narratives. And egoism or Sterner's thought is a weapon to fight against those narratives and those symbols dominating. For those things like enthralling you to their own interests, right? Because like Sterner has a famous quote about like, what is God interested in? What is society interested in? They're self-interested and you should be self-interested too. So I think that egoism for me is valuable, not as an identity. There's no identity there. If you rested in that, you would, I think, be violating the point of egoism. Egoism is not a house. It's not, it's not an identity. It is a hatchet. You know, it's a hatchet to cut at things that bind you, the tethers that bind. Egoism allows you to liberate yourself from believing things ought to be interesting to you or that you ought to care about them or that certain rituals ought to be interesting or that they should have a place in your life. If they do not benefit you, there's no reason to let them into your life. And so egoism is a good way to produce the life you want to live by being able to disregard or abandon certain sets of narrative and symbols and sources of meaning that actually may be painful or maybe stultifying or maybe harmful. If Christianity has harmed you and you can imagine no way to benefit from it, you don't need to believe that it is the source of meaning. Egoism is self-help. That's it. Like, it, it's not a place to produce an identity the way that communism may be, or liberalism, or Christianity. Egoism is a uh, the toolkit to assess reality, and then upon assessing it, get on with your life in a good way. But I don't think one should rest in it. I don't know if there's any real utility in calling oneself an egoist that one can't get from calling themselves a Christian, or a liberal, or a conservative, or something like that. Your identity is a prison, right? Who you are is a prison. And you're going to be in a prison either way, but you should at least build your own prison if you can. Egoism gives you the ability to change it, I guess. But being an egoist, I don't think is very useful. Just saying like, oh, I'm an egoist. That doesn't tell me anything about you. That doesn't tell me what you care about, other than that you care about trying to not care about things that people told you to care about. I, I don't know. Yeah. You know? But there's no denying that every egoist I've ever met was a human being. Mm -hmm. And every human being I've ever met was a primate. And they're a primate that needs symbolic reality more than any of the primate. That's the, the human condition, as far as I can tell. Mm. And so there's no egoist who doesn't have to have a symbolic landscape that they call home. Right. And so you should, you should think of your, you should, your identity maybe should be that symbolic landscape. And that set of meanings and reactions that you care about, that you want to guide your life, that you want to force on other people, because you will. But there's no home in egoism. There's no identity there. There's no me. There's no identity in egoism that doesn't, I think, violate the point of egoism. So it's a great tool, but it's not a place to, to rest. If you do rest there, I think you may not be making a lush, interesting life. You may just be enjoying the violence you can do to the old things that harmed you, or the old things that blinded you, or something like that, right? Because like it seems like Sterner was often reacting to Christianity or he was reacting to kind of authoritarian socialism. I mean, he said himself, it's no it's no enemy of socialism or anything like that. It is the enemy of it's sacred socialism, sacred things, like what should be interesting in of itself. And egoism is a tool, it's not a place to rest. It's not fertile ground, but it is a shovel to help you make fertile ground to live in, I guess. Okay, okay. <laughs>